I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about what's known as the normal distribution or normal curve and describe some of its properties. Okay, here we have this normal distribution or normal curve. It's also known as a bell-shaped curve. Notice it's in the shape of a bell. Now, this curve has certain properties. The first thing we can do is we can define the area under the curve and you can define this area under this curve, meaning anywhere from the x-axis or a number line all the way in here, all underneath this curve or underneath this line as 1.0, okay, 1.0. Another way we can do this is we can express it in terms of a percentage. And when we do that, we typically talk about the area under the curve as being equal to 100%. Okay, so the entire area under this curve is 100%. Now, if you remember some of the properties of the normal curve, we could draw a line down the middle here. And this is just an approximation. My drawing isn't perfectly normal. Um, and the line's probably not perfectly in the center, but it's intended to be. So just assume that it is. Okay? And in a normal distribution or normal curve, at the center here, recall that the mean, the median, and the mode are all equal to each other. Okay, so the center here, the mean, median, and mode all have this value in a normal distribution. Another property is that the distribution itself is symmetrical. Okay, it's symmetrical. And by symmetrical, we mean that one side is the mirror image of the other. Now if I take my percentage form here, 100% under the entire curve, and if I know that the normal distribution is symmetrical, or one side is the mirror image of, of the other, another way to think about this is, if I took this side and folded it over here, it would fit perfectly. Okay, now this is assuming my drawing is perfect, okay, which it's not, but let's just assume it is. If this was flipped over here, it would perfectly fit with no, um, no uh, overlap at all. That's not fitting perfectly. So you fold this over, it fits perfectly. Right? If that's true, then what percent should fall on each side here of the center? Well, if I have 100% total, then I should have 50% of the value should fall on this side of the center, and 50% of the value should fall on this side of the center. Okay, and as a further review, if we translated or described the values here in terms of z-scores, then what score is equal to the center or the mean of this distribution? it would be a z-score of 0. Basically, we have a z-score of 0 right here, and 50% of the values or scores fall to the right of the mean of 0 for z, and 50% of the scores fall to the left. All right, so in review, our bell-shaped curve, or normal distribution, can be defined as its area under the curve is 100% total, with 50% on each side of the mean. Now, the reason for that is, once again, is because the normal distribution or bell-shaped curve is symmetrical.